Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the all new Southland dump trailers, the whole way from Alberta, Canada. Come over here, let's take a more in depth look at this particular trailer right here. We'll go ahead and start at the front. This is a Demco 205 16th, fully adjustable coupler. There's many options that the Southland dump trailers have. This one in particular is a 12,000 pound side weighing jack. There's available options where you can upgrade to the fully hydraulic jack. This aluminum toolbox is standard. We have power up, power down, just like any other trailer. This is an aluminum toolbox. The attention to detail is great. We got this little, two little gummy straps that are just tucked underneath for your tarp kit. That is standard, a little LED light. Tarp kit is also standard. Um, we got these pine boards right at the top. Um, this is a piece that is a uh, sacrificial board, so if you're loading dirt or stone or mulch accidentally knock into the board, um, it's a sacrificial piece, you just pull it off, throw another one down. Um, another standout feature of the Southland dump trailers is the sill design, which is an engineered beam that it completely eliminates the cross members underneath the bed. So this is going to save you weight. Um, and be a lot stronger so you're not going to have those waves that most dump trailers have and develop over time. These are positioned exactly where you know your tracks or you know skid loader tires would be driving up the bed. Um, there's different gauges of floors. This is a 10 gauge floor on the heavy duty models. It's standard is a 7 gauge floor. So it's a very heavy duty construction. Uh, especially comboed with a scissor lift hoist. They're a champion hoist and it's a scissor lift style. The, uh, the HD models are a nine ton champion hoist, so it's very strong. It's gonna lift anything that you're gonna, uh, at least within the payload uh, that this trailer can carry. Um, of course, the, uh, this one in particular is 5,200 pound axles. This is a six by 12, they make uh, the six, or I'm sorry, the seven by 14, um, different weight capacities. You can get 10Ks, 7K axles. You can get um, the two 8,000 pound axles. Really, whatever size you're looking for, they're pretty much gonna build it for us. Um, if we wanna step over here, let's take a look at the rear of this tailgate. It's little features like this that make it nicer. This is what they have, uh, they call a slam latch, right? So you can just open the door, slam it shut, both of them are the same way. You know, open them up, close them. Just nice and easy, quick and fast. Um, on the HD models, these, uh, these aluminum ramps are standard. So instead of your heavy steel ramps, these are a nice light aluminum ramp. Way better than steel. On their little war ones, um, let's go take a look at this one over here. Uh, this right here is their 7 and 10K models. Uh, most of the time, people aren't loading an excavator and something like this, but you're gonna have, uh, you know, lawn mowers, four wheelers, something like that. It's gonna be quite common. So, what they do is that instead of a standard ramp, this is a punched hole ramp. So, you can drive lawn mowers. You know, like I said, four wheelers, anything like that. Um, so this trailer is more designed for that lighter equipment piece. This is a galvanized ramp, so hopefully it's not gonna get uh, rusty on you, um, and at least we'll prolong the agony having that all galvanized. On these little ones, same thing, uh, slam latch. So just open the doors, nice and easy. Um, yeah, door hole backs right here. You swing your door around. I don't think I'm gonna be able to lock it in because it's too tight. Um, but yeah, door hold back so you can lock this in place. We got a combo gate, combo meaning two, so we have those barn doors like I just showed you. Or you can uh, unlatch this piece right here, set this to where you need it. You can set it at three inches and spread stones or mulch, uh, whatever you need. Um, the, the, the D-rings, it's little things like this, but the D-rings are up on the sides, right? So they're welded to the side. Just keeps them out of the way. If you're in here trying to shovel mulch off, you don't want to be slamming into a D-ring uh, when you're trying to get work done. 
So this one right here is an HD model, so it has the 17 and a half inch wheels. Uh, let's go around it up front. It also has this uh, Lippert uh, torsion centerpiece in there. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but essentially um, it's going to give you a lot, lot nicer ride. It's going to be a little bit smoother, but you're not going to be paying a bunch of extra money for torsion axles if you don't want them. Um, and then also on the HD model, we got a Lippert hydraulic jack. So again, aluminum toolbox, but in the toolbox, it's a nice little electronic switch. So you switch that switch, just right here, straight to jack. Up, down, really nice and fast. And then you switch it to your hoist. And this is the HD, so it has that nine ton champion hoist underneath the bed. Same sill design, all of their dump trailers have it. Every single one of them, clear down to the little itty bitty ones, all gonna be the exact same design. Um, you, can, you can see this design almost anywhere, uh, especially in the dump truck world, you'll see that design where you have these two engineered beams that run the length instead of cross members. You save weight um, and hopefully be able to carry more dollars in the bed. Um, this is the high side version. So it's the same thing, same structure, the HD model, 17 and a half inch wheels, hydraulic jack, tarp kit. It's gonna be set up and ready to roll for you. Whether you're trying to do shingles, you know, materials, whatever, that's gonna be a dumpster on wheels. Um, if you got any questions about the design at all, feel free to reach out to us. You can go visit our website, breckboattrailers.com. We have all of our live inventory there, um, and we'll see you next time.